We just recently got back from a long trip, and we decided on the way home for a long 13-hour-plus flight to upgrade to business class. So we're going to take you along and show you what we got up to in our business class journey on Qatar Airways. So come along and enjoy the ride. Backwards. <coughs> welcome to business class. Got my welcome drink. A nice fresh orange juice. Got in the mini bag. I don't know what's in here yet. Let's see what happens. Oh, the toilet. Patty, fresh lotion, and face cream. Who knew? And then on the other side, what do we have here? Let's see. <gasps> That's a nice pair of socks. No. Socks and an eye mask. Very nice. And a nice beautiful bag. So I have a nice little pillow here that I'm just putting behind my back. Nice comfort thing. Got my little pillow here. San Francisco, Golden Gate Bridge. This looks like a really good thick blanket. Very nice. The, uh, this thing, the table release, you press down there, comes out all the way, open it up, bang, ba -doom, ba -doom. and you want to put it away, zoom, there you go. Got a nice little foot well that I have a whole bunch of stuff in right now, but there you go. We're facing backwards for this flight, but I think we'll be okay with it. my freshly squeezed orange juice welcome drink. We have a little refreshing towel, see the theme? And in my amenity kit, I get a cute little white bag. Where it looks like I also have the socks and eye mask. Comfy socks, eye mask. This looks like a good quality one. I've got some eau de toilette. We'll be using that at home. <laughs> and then in my amenity kit, it looks like the same stuff. So I've got the lotion, the face cream, and Lip balm. You don't get lip balm on your did you? And the best part, I got some jammies, and I can change into them later on. I can take it home. It's gonna be a good flight.
our first meal. Anthony's already laying down the bed. And his feet are all the way underneath. Comfortable? And I changed into the pajamas they gave us. And I'm gonna finish watching my movie and then I may try to take a nap. Crazy. So some of the other things we have here, we have we can make the seat go flatter, a little forward, we can go lie down, turn the bag up, go kind of to lie flat. This one goes all the way lie flat. Ooh, we don't need that yet. But we don't need that right now, so here you go. There's a massage thing I haven't tried. And a couple of other thingies here. Under here we have a little hidey hole. They had had a water bottle in there. Got the headphones, which I never opened. And they got a whole bunch of other space in there. And, if you want, it goes up a little higher. So a nice little thing there. So, pretty cool. Not bad. Since we are together, they put this, the whole, this whole thing is a wall. Put it all the way down. Got a nice little cushion here. They gave us this little bedding. Got our pillows and everything when they brought them over. So they set up us. They set us up nicely. So they set up us. So they set us up nicely for a nice, relaxing doze. Uh, the bedding not completely 100% comfortable, but it was definitely very nice. What do you think? Well, I think that the chairs themselves were definitely padded better than what we're used to in the economy. And then they're just oh, yeah. the extra layer of like a mattress thing. It's a nice little touch. They actually come and like ask you to stand up and, can we make the bed for you? Yeah, it's good. I definitely got some sleep. It was a little maybe a part of a mattress, but you know, all things considered, it was excellent. The only thing I would say about like the footwells is that um, you kind of have to have your toes in one corner that's like the deeper end of it if you really want to stretch out all the way. Um, but otherwise it's perfectly fine. You could bend your knees or whatever else you need to do. I had no problem with the feet, with the length. I'm like 5'10", had no issues whatsoever. Had didn't think anything about the footwell, totally enough room and everything. Yeah, I mean the Excellent. footwell is angled, so just keep that in mind. Just keep your feet to the side, that's deeper. Yeah, and it's narrower than the rest of the thing, but you know, you don't need that much, so. And I just want to show you how spacious our section is. If you could put your hand on that wall there. So his hand is on his wall, and this camera is on my wall, and look at how much space we have between the two of us. The two of us are taking up a whole entire middle section, basically. Yeah. It's spacious. It's nice. For reference, this is the Q Suite in the A350-900. Not only is there a food menu, but there is a drink menu as well, which we did not take advantage of. We are not really drinkers. I did get an extra little snack, however, and then it was time for our second meal. I had breakfast while Liz had her dinner. One hour to go. We have almost survived a 13 plus hour flight. And 21 hours of flying in one day. Yeah, it's about 24 hours since we uh, woke up yesterday. <laughs> today? Yesterday? Yeah, today. And the life flat bed definitely helped. Yes, I am glad that we splurged. 
we, we both got some a few hours sleep at yeah, least. Like good sleep have, too. Yeah, I might have gotten five, six hours on that. <laughs> Much more than I would have gotten in the other side. Yes, and this is a nice treat to us uh, splurge on this. Yeah. Was it worth as much as we paid? Uh, but it, Once it every, like, ten years, sure. Yeah. It, was, it, was, it was very good. So we were good. We're going to have to start getting ready for uh, landing, and we'll see you on the other side. So thank you for joining us. That was quite the adventure. I am tired. But we are home. We're just getting our little transfer here. We have made it. So thank you for joining us on this adventure. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments below if you've ever taken Qatar Airways before or have done business class before, what your experience has been. And we'll see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure. <laughs> and subscribe so you can see where our adventures had taken us so that we needed that 13 hour flight.